Kevin Bowe here today to talk about miking pianos. The basic things you need to know about miking a piano are planning ahead to determine what kind of sound you're looking for. If you want a big wide dark sound, these ribbon mics, these coals right here, are going to be your best friend. Uh, for example, on a piano vocal ballad. On a brighter rock and roll thing, you might want to use small body condensers inside the piano. Again, focus to one on the left on the low side and one on the bright side of the piano. If your main concern is isolation because there's a drummer in the same room, you might want to check out these PZMs because you can throw them on the inside of the piano and shut the lid and still get a surprisingly great sound. So now back at the board and listening to what we recorded, here are all six mics together, three pairs. Here are the PZMs alone. Here are the B and Ks alone, small body condensers. It's a nice different sound. And a very different sound, the Coles dark ribbon mics all alone. You can hear the warm, rich tone that the ribbon mics get. So to get a final sound here, you have a lot of choices. You could use uh, the B and Ks for the bright side or the PZMs and bring in the Coles to darken it instead of uh, using EQ. Um, when it comes time to mix. And the other thing you might want to do is take a look at your phase relationships by blowing up the waveforms in Pro Tools and making sure that, uh, not necessarily that they're all in phase, but that they all sound the way you want them to sound. Uh, sometimes, not very often, but sometimes something slightly out of phase is going to give you a sound quality that for some reason you like better than totally in phase.